Hey guys, um, I just got another comment saying do a PSP battery preserving video. So, bam, I'm about to do one. First off, PSP Slim have a longer battery life than the original PSP. Not only because it has a smaller device so it's less to power, but that's part of the Slim. It increased the battery life. I don't know the exact statistics for how long it can last, but I'm about to give you some quick facts on how to prolong it. Same thing, universal rule between all devices and preserving your battery is brightness. Um, you guys might know about the brightness switch you have here. It's kind of like a little square. Uh, it's hard to see. Anyway, it's beside this like little music symbol. You can just press it and it changes the brightness. I recommend keeping it on the lowest brightness. Um, once again, try to keep your volume down as low as possible or to whatever you need. Another big thing that you need to realize is if you have a Pandora, like basically a jailbroken PSP is, or, or a modded or hacked PSP with a Pandora battery and the magic memory stick, it will reduce your battery life only because you know how when you turn off your PSP, which I'll do so right now, just got to flash a few times, and then you hold down the right trigger and then you turn it back on again, how it has that feature, well, your PSP recognizes that it has that and it needs to apply the right amount of power to run that. So in turn it reduces your battery life. Also, which you probably know about as well, is if you hold down the left and right trigger, you're able to basically do the whole Pandora battery thing all over again. So yeah. Um, just try to realize that if you have Pandora battery, PSP or whatever, your battery life will be reduced due to the fact that you have to run certain things. Um, another thing that can reduce your battery life is, you know how that you can download like third party games and stuff onto your magic memory stick? Well, that will also reduce your battery life because you're now running off your operating system off your magic memory stick, so the least amount of memory you have, the more difficult it can be. So, um, basically if you don't want to, if you want to preserve your battery life and you do a lot of traveling and use a PSP as a portable gaming system uncharged a lot, I don't recommend doing the jailbreak or the, the mod to it because to be honest, it didn't benefit me that much. All I got is like Halo, UMD Dumper and some interesting things on this. It can save you money, it's just, yeah, it's not amazing. Um, other neat things you can do is um, you have an internet switch at the top it's like it says WLAN this is for the slims I think the other switch is here for you guys but um, keep that off uh, if you aren't in a Wi-Fi area because once again it will continuously refresh your device till it can find uh, a network um, try not to keep a game in um, because you can listen Anyway, uh, some, sometimes the disc itself is running, which is causing the little little laser you have in there to run to read the disc, which also causes you to lose your memory. So that's another thing you can be conscious about. Um, there's a lot of different things that can affect the battery life of the PSP. Uh, like for one thing, by having the game in, when you see this, it needs to take information from the CD, apply it to the device, and give you a quick trailer and demo telling you what you're doing. Because of that, it can reduce your battery life. Not a huge amount, but it can. Just because the obvious, you're looking at a video while you're on your home screen, and the pixels that it had to format on the background, and just stuff like that. Um, basically, a lot of it's common sense to figure out what you can do to reduce your battery life. But the main things are as brightness, uh, volume, uh, you know, turn off your Wi Fi. Uh, if you put on hold while you're watching a movie, it it will reduce your battery life more than if you don't have it on hold. Not only could you accidentally press a button, which could pause the movie, which could cause you to look at the movie longer, doing whatever you're doing that put it on hold, but by putting it on hold, it doesn't need to recognize any of the keys. So instead, it, it basically blocks the electrons to go through to the up, down, left, right keys, the X square, circle, and triangle keys. So, which obviously will reduce your battery life because less electrons are moving through your device to go to the specific ports. And I learned this whole electron thing in school. That's what you use to power your devices is electrons. So anyway, um, hold can reduce your battery life, brightness, volume, 
what you're doing on in the background because you know you can be playing a game you can press your home button go back to your home screen then go right back into your game uh, if you're going to turn off your device or put it in sleep mode while a game's going on I recommend saving your data then going uh, and then completely powering off your PSP instead of just putting it in that sleep mode because it's still recognizing the end point of your game which doesn't really stop any of the usage of your device. It's basically just having your laptop closing the screen down and everything's still running. It's just you can't see it. So um, another thing, uh, most of you probably know that you can use your Wi-Fi and then go back to your home screen and then view anything you want while the web page is still uploaded in the background. That's another thing that can easily reduce your battery life. And web browsing is one of the things that reduces your battery life more than anything else. Because the PSP wasn't especially made for internet, as you can probably tell by its mobile formatted websites and the way it recognizes it, because it can take forever to load a page and then forever to scroll down to the bottom of it, which is ridiculous. So, um, if you want to use, if, if Wi Fi is not mandatory for you, I recommend avoiding it, especially if you're trying to conserve your battery life. So, anyway, that's basically about it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. And if anybody else has any other things they want me to do videos on, I've been doing everything that's been commented so far. So, keep them coming. I'm having fun. All right, you guys. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another one that I might upload in another five minutes. And, um, wish me good luck on my trip to Norway. And don't forget to rate five star and leave a comment if you have any questions or you want me to do another video. All right. So, uh, stay tuned.